You know, if, if a woman can imagine having the most romantic experience with her boyfriend in love or whatever, would she be more inclined to want him to take olive oil and put it all over their bodies and, and bathe in oil while they're making love? Or would they love the idea of fruits and watermelons and juices all over their bodies? What would be more appealing to a woman? We know fruit. Yeah, there you go. It's an easy Yum. question. Same thing inside your body. See, if you're full of that fruit inside your body, it'll come out of your skin and your all your pores and your sweat and your juices. So that will only enhance your, your you know, that, that, that act in mm -hmm. a more sacred place. Because that's what it is. Fruits are sacred. So we're talking about sexuality and lovemaking here, yes? You, you just said to me uh, privately, you said that you... You advocate that a man, before he comes close to a woman, before he starts making love to her, that he should fast. Yeah, absolutely. He, he might take himself more sacred and more important and adore himself so much that when he is with his woman, for a certain amount of days fasting and cleansing, she will know that he prepared himself for her, to, for, to worship her. It's like cleaning your feet before you walk into a temple. You know, you don't want to track mud and dirt all over the beautiful temple floor. So you want to be very clean prepared. So that way it also means that the male is be less inclined to cheat on her or mistreat her or abuse her because he worked really hard to worship her. Yeah. And she, she'll feel that. How does, it, um, how does fasting before lovemaking influence libido? Well, I mean, in my own experiences, I became a lot more quote unquote hungrier for her. As far as libido goes, I had less, I had no obstructions. So now I'm not concerned with gas, um, bulging, flushy, whatever, nasty stuff moving around me. And now I can concentrate on using my, my body differently than I ever have. For me, it's now the a That's a practice where I contract my muscles of my stomach, my abdomen, and able to you know rotate and move the, uh, the muscles in a certain way to massage my internal organs. And while I'm with someone and with a, a partner, I'm also concentrating those places to put pressure on certain nerve bundles. And when I'm with a female, I can also feel that as well. And I can also guide that and, uh, and teach while I'm doing that. So it becomes less of an act of lovemaking and more of an act of discovery, of exploration, of adoration. And, um, and when we look at it that way, there's no way we can use it as a, as a simple, stale, gross act that you can do with anybody. This becomes a, an exploration with your partner, both of you exploring each other to higher levels, not just your bodies, but your breath. And that's what we're doing. We're